Hello, Kim Searle, Emotional Mastery. How did you get on with yesterday's technique of the automatic letter writing? Or maybe you've been using the EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique, that I recommended with Brad Yates. Um, both are very powerful in helping you work with emotions, um, but there is another method that you can use, uh, one that I very often find can be quite powerful for somebody who's got stuck when I'm in session with them in an emotion and can't see a way out. And it's this concept of emotions being um, on a spectrum. So emotions generally, so from, let's just say for, from ecstatic, you know, um, right up there, to actually being very, very low, um, depressed, possibly even worse. So it's a spectrum. And within that spectrum, there are microscopic differences so that you can move through the spectrum. In fact, I might do that the other way. <laughs> so you can move through the spectrum to a better place. And yes, sometimes that can take time because you cannot necessarily go from A to B just like that. So to go from um, angry to happy or you know, depressed to okay can be quite a big ask of people. And so if you can think about that spectrum for all emotions, I want you just to imagine the emotion, your emotion that you might be experiencing at the moment or the last emotion that you experienced that was not so good. And then think of that one emotion and then realize within that there is a whole other set of very small microscopic microcosm, whatever, changes within that to help you move through it. So it can be quite a challenge and there is a way that you can do it and I'm going to share that with you today. Um, I very often think about it actually it's a bit like the colour wheels that you get you know they're, they're 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 so you go you go to choose some paint at the shop and you want yellow and when you look at it you're like I don't know which one it is because there's some of them are so close together aren't they they're so similar so this is what emotions are all about and what makes it even more complicated is that everybody experiences emotions in their own unique way and the reason for that is those emotions are biochemical in nature so it's down to your body about how you ex experience emotions and therefore how you express them who knew i know the more and more i find out about emotions the more i'm beginning to realize just um, just how complex they can be. So what's this technique that I'm going to be sharing with you today? It's called drop through and basically for those of you who are into mindfulness, brilliant because you can do this in your mindfulness session. For those of you who are really in touch with your emotions, you'll be able to do this no problem. For those of you who have to think about the emotions, I want you to think about a scale or a measurement or a dial, whatever works for you. And whatever you're doing, you just get in touch with where you are right now. Whatever that emotion is that you're experiencing. The one that you want to improve. And it's, it's the idea is that you will drop through wherever you are to the next level that allows you to improve even just a little bit. And some people will imagine this drop through as just sinking through um, in, in a, like a cloud-like form from one cloud to another. Somebody else might just feel like they're settling in their body a bit more. Whatever you're doing, it's about keeping safe. So it's your imagination, you choose what you use. But the idea is you just drop through to the next layer of that emotion where it's less intense, less, less powerful on you. And when you've got there, just notice any subtle differences. And you drop through again to the next layer in setting your intent that each layer is going to feel a little better 
just notice how that feels. For those people who are very much into the visual, you can imagine a dial or the colour spectrum. You're just moving through the spectrum in some way. The thinkers just notice that the scale is changing with 10 being the worst it can be and zero, nothing at all. Just notice that you're dropping through that scale and you can drop through to the next layer to help you feel better. And just notice what you notice. And usually by the time you get to, if you haven't already, usually by the time you've done it five times, maybe several, you will start to notice a difference dropping through to the next layer. And for some of you, you may have actually changed the emotional state completely because you're so in touch with this. You may have moved from the emotion that you had to a much better one, a much stronger one. And if you haven't, it's not wrong and you just drop through again to the next one. And the idea is you sit with this until you can get into a better state. And the beauty of this is you can talk your way through this in your mind's eye. I'm feeling better. What does better feel like? Drop through. That's right. So easily done. And you are in control of how you feel. And it depends, everybody will be different, but the idea is that you do this until you've started to release the emotion and it will happen. The emotion will be expressed just by you being with it and allowing it. Your dropping through is just helping your body to understand it's time to let it go. Well done. When you get to a better state, then that's good news. And you've, you've just allowed you to be heard, because that's what this is about. It's allowing you to be heard. Your body has something to tell you. Really powerful. Um, if you have any challenges with that, do reach out to me. Um, I'm running a weekly webinar. Tonight um, is one of them at seven o'clock. It's free. Just check out my events page for the link love to see you there where you can actually clear whatever's going on for you whatever that emotion is that you've got going on alternatively i do offer 30 minutes free i'm using the zoom um, as a feature to do that but if facebook is better for you you can do facebook live so my name is kim so emotional mastery just another technique that you can use to help you manage yourself during these difficult times thank you so much for listening